key takeaways have been us fighting firstly to have parliament fully functional after the fire that gutted um, both the, the, the National Assembly and the Old Assembly. This has been an important fight for us because, as we've long said, when Parliament works, South Africa works. The reason why this institution becomes important and its function becomes important is because each and every one of us that is here, that sits here, has been sent here to represent the people of South Africa. So, number one, we have sought really hard to try and get Parliament functioning again, to get Parliament fully open again, and to make sure that ministers are actually here to account on the work of government. Um, it, we, the, one of the other big priorities for us has been fighting the issue around the cost of living crisis. Over half of South Africans are living in abject poverty and we, through the work that we have done and through the leader, John Stenays, and we've brought these issues to the fore of Parliament, we've posed the questions to the President and we've also, in addition to bringing the issue to Parliament, we've also brought a number of solutions to say to government, this is what you can do. It's not enough to simply lament the problem, but we've also brought solutions to the fore. But of course, as is, as is often the case, the ANC has often used its majority to block some interventions. And so I do want South Africans to know that there are MPs in this house who are fighting for you, but there's also a grave amount of MPs in this institution who are blocking any efforts to, to, to really cushion the blow of the cost of living crisis for people. And we've also, essentially, the other issue that we've driven really hard here is bringing uh, pieces of legislation, as is expected of us, um, that are important, that will change the lives of South Africans. One key such legislation is the issue of the legislation that will essentially seek to stabilize coalition governments. We're of the view that Parliament can't just simply be responsive and that Parliament needs to be proactive and that as we head towards 2024, where we are likely to see a, a national government that is under a coalition government, it's important that Parliament readies itself, that we develop a legislative framework that will make sure that we stabilize coalition governments. The instability we have seen at a local level can never be replicated at a national level and a provincial level. And so we are readying ourselves to say that when coalition governments are unstable, it is the people that suffer. And that's why this institution has to essentially busy itself with making sure that we pass legislation that matters most to people. And of course, over and above this, we've made a spirited fight against cater deployment, using the avenues that are available to us, passing, trying to pass legislation, asking the relevant questions so that we can make sure that we rid our public service of the kind of endemic corruption that we've seen over the past couple of years. And so that's the work, really some of the key highlights that we have seen um, over the past year. Thanks for watching. Like and follow our page on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And please, like and share our videos with your friends and family. Join the DA. Join the fight to save South Africa.